Hey, what's up? What's up, Simply Recipe Crews? Nick here um, from machismo.com, and we are cooking live today. Um, this is my first time doing this on the Simply Recipes Facebook page. Uh, I usually do it on the Instagram page, um, but we decided to switch it up a little bit, so I'm doing it on Facebook today. Say hi, say where you're watching from. I'm sure there's a lot of people watching from home today. I am personally at home with my wife, my two kids, my dog, my cat, and it's a packed house. So don't be surprised if you see a little one pop up uh, and say hi, that is always a possibility. And give me a comment, say where you're uh, watching from also. I'd love to hear how everybody's doing, how everybody's staying safe, hopefully. Uh, I am gonna try to I think I figured out how I can follow along here. Um, so hopefully if you have comments, questions, I can try to answer them as I cook. Uh, we are making a really simple cacio e pepe pasta today. It's a nice lunch kind of dish to make. It's It's got, it's like a classy mac and cheese a little bit, um, but super easy to make. Always a hit with my kids and always hit with me too. I really love it. So let me see if I can do this here. Oh, okay, yeah, there, I'm watching myself, this is weird, but I think I can do it where I can um, see comments is what I'm trying to do. Let me see, hold on, I'm gonna figure this out. Technical issues, right? Always at the beginning, technical issues. Uh, let's see here, if I click that, does that work? I just wanna be able to see comments. Oh yeah, cool, all right. Victoria from the Florida Panhandle, awesome. A new stay at, stay at home order just issued there, I think. Uh, Tracy from Phoenix, what's up Tracy? Thanks for watching. And again, I'm here in Denver, Colorado. Um, so yeah, so Denver is in like total lockdown basically. Uh, we have been for a few weeks, so we're starting to get used to the new schedule. Um, the kids are home from school all the time, as I'm sure many of you have kids at home as well. And so we're just trying to make the best of it. You know, we're trying to eat well. We're trying to eat down our pantry. We're cooking a lot of pantry meals and that's where I got the idea for this meal actually today. So uh, this is an awesome recipe. It's super easy and very fast. And the way it starts is actually the sauce is made in a skillet. So you can, my son is laughing because I'm giving them extra tablet time right now so I can do this video. They probably will come over anyway, but that if you hear chuckling, it's because he's like watching a PBS video or something, I don't know. So anyway, <laughs> all right, we got some Texas people in the chat, uh, somebody from Tennessee up in here, beautiful. Great, okay, so we're gonna get started with this sauce. I like to start it with um, a little bit of olive oil. Do, 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 do. About a tablespoon or two is, is a good idea. And then a little bit of butter also. Uh, and I like to use about two tablespoons. Ooh, that might be a little bit more than two tablespoons of butter. And just kind of let this cook on low. You don't want it to get too hot or the butter will burn. That is not what you're looking for. And then what I like to do is crack in um, a little bit of coarse black pepper. Freshly cracked is best if you have a little pepper meal. And that gives it some nice peppery flavor. And that's basically the start of the sauce. We're just gonna let that sit. So, uh, you know, what I like about this recipe is it's really fast. You can make it on a whim and you probably have all the ingredients to make it already. So if I'm making this for like a fancy dinner party, I will use like a bucatini pasta or a spaghetti or something like that. But I'm doing kind of a weird thing today because I'm trying to uh, cook for my pantry more. So I found a bunch of weird pastas in my pantry and I'm gonna combine them all into this dish. So let's, hopefully it works. So here's what I found. I found some old macaroni. This is like just, you know, plain mac, elbow macaroni, basically, right? That's gonna go in. Found a random box of shells. I'm gonna put some shells in there. I can't right now, I'm doing a video. Keep going. <laughs> I don't know, he wants me to look at something. <laughs> okay, and then we have these little, I love these, let me show you these. These are kind of cool. They're like little mini bow ties. They're smaller than your normal bow tie, uh, but those are good too. So I already cooked, these are already cooked. I cooked them in advance. If I were making this for real, I would not cook them separately. I just did that to show you. I would cook them all together in one pot. 
uh, to make it very easy. And obviously you wanna look at the cooking times on your pasta, because if one is like nine minutes and one is seven minutes, you know, put in the nine minute one a little bit ahead, then add the seven minute one and they'll be done roughly at the same time. But I did them all separately just to show you guys all the fun different pastas we're working with today. So just keep kind of swirling that. You could, if you had some like fresh herbs, you could add that. You could add some garlic to this. If you put a little garlic in there, that's good. But the traditional dish is just really clean, uh, olive oil, butter, black pepper, and then we're gonna add some more stuff to it too. So um, I have a pot of water over here that I cooked all the pasta in. I'm actually gonna just go add all these to that pot. Let's see if, I might be able to just bring it over. Big pot of water, right? It's hot, woo! So I'm just gonna add all these pastas in just to like get them hot again. Boom, boom, boom. So these are already cooked, so they're done, they're hot now, and they can go into our sauce, right? Now, here's the most important thing of this recipe. Are you ready? This is the key. More people are joining, hey -o. If you just joined, say hi. Uh, Nick here from Machismo, we're making a pasta dish today for lunch for my family and me. Um, what I like to do is get a little measuring cup and you want to scoop out, if you can get some, just the water of the pasta that the pasta cooked in. I got like one piece of pasta in there, that's okay. So I don't know if, ooh. So if you can see that, it's like salty and starchy and this is gonna make the pasta perfecto. Boom, so. I'm still swirling this. Okay, so this is pretty much ready to go. I'm gonna drain the pasta real fast and we're gonna make this in like one minute and it's gonna be great. So, ooh, what's, Andre asked, what's in the saute pan? So for those that are just tuning in, we have some olive oil, butter, black pepper. That's it. This is like one of the easiest homemade sauces you can make. And it is a favorite here at House Machismo. So uh, always a hit, so let's see. All right, so I drained my pasta, and it's kind of fun. It's got a bunch of different shapes. Kids love it. It's like all different shapes and sizes. Uh, and you could use any, it's a great, it's any kind of pasta you got. If you have like a little bit of, you know, the end of a box of pasta, just save it. And when you get a few different ones, toss them all together in this recipe, it works great. Okay, so this is probably gonna sizzle a little bit. So get ready. So we're gonna add our pasta first to this sauce that we have going here. And at first, it doesn't look like much is happening, right? So I'm just gonna toss it to kind of coat all the little pasta pieces. Mm, it's already smelling great, honestly. But to make it, it's still kind of on the dry side right now, and I wanna give it a little more of like a saucy feel. So this is where this pasta water comes in. So I'm just gonna kinda add it, you know, a few tablespoons at a time. You don't, you won't need all of it. You won't need the whole thing. You won't need like a cup, but you need a good amount. And then you just kind of toss it together. And as this cooks, the, uh, the sauce will, you'll see it start to kind of thicken and, um, and stick to the pasta. Now here's the last thing. Cacio, if you didn't know, is cheese. So this is just Parmesan cheese. I grated it before I started. Fresh grated is best, but you can use anything. And you just wanna add this straight to the pasta now. And save a little bit to put on top later, but. And this really gives it, this, this brings everything together. You got the cheese going in, you got the pasta water sauce, and a little bit of olive oil butter for some good fat. And you just stir all this together. And in just a few minutes, you will have a really wonderful little lunch. It's kind of like a classy mac and cheese, honestly. My kids probably prefer the blue box, but this is what they're getting today, so. Hey, Claudia joined. What's up, Claudia? We're cooking. If anybody has any questions, please ask in the comments. I figured it out. I got dual screens. I'm like a professional here. 
dual screens. Really awesome. All right, so. Good. So this is looking pretty good. I'll see if I can get up close so you can see. Uh, so it's pretty, it's got a nice sauce to it. I might add, oh, don't want to do that. Start a fire up in here. Okay. Oh, God, I'm spilling stuff everywhere. We're doing it live. Okay, so it's start. I think I need a little bit more water, honestly. Yeah, a little bit more water. It was a little thick. And you might notice I have yet to measure a thing in this recipe. This is not a recipe that, like, I mean, you could probably, I guess I could write a recipe for it, but it's really just kind of, you kind of just feel it based on how much pasta you have. I started with, I did a half a cup of each of those three different dried pastas that I used. Then probably like two tablespoons of olive oil, two tablespoons of butter, maybe half a cup of cheese. And that's gonna get us there, I think. So, all right. So this is starting to look pretty good. So you know you're done when the pasta is coated with the sauce. And if you drag your spoon through the, the skillet, it leaves kind of like a streak. That means that the sauce is, is thickened up nicely. If that's not happening, just let it keep simmering in the skillet. The skillet's nice because it has a nice wide surface area and it evaporates quickly. Um, so you can, whoo! These little burners, I swear. Uh-oh, my smoke alarm's gonna go off. Okay, we're gonna turn that off. Once you get close, you can turn off the heat and you're, you're good to go. So this is it. This is such a great dish. And now you can kind of, I mean, you can flavor it how you want. Like I said, if you wanted to add some fresh herbs, some parsley, I mean, honestly, I haven't gone to the store in like 10 days. So our fridge is bare bones right now. Um, but you could kind of add whatever you want to it. Uh, I like, if you just want to keep it simple, just get a bowl and just spoon some up here. Let's see, isn't it bland, Rose says. No, it's really not. You'd be surprised. It is super flavorful actually. And it's a very classic Italian sauce. So the pepper, the cheese, the olive oil, the butter, um, you could add, you could season it with a little bit of salt if you want, but it honestly probably doesn't need much salt. Uh, I like to just do a little extra pepper on mine and a little Parmesan cheese. Boom. And you serve this with like a salad or something is a nice choice. Uh, Jana said, can you add garlic? Yes, uh, definitely. If you add garlic, what I like to do, see this guy here? This is our finished bowl. See, that's like, it's kind of like a classy macaroni and cheese, honestly. It's a very light sauce, but I promise it's, uh, it's super delicious. Mmm. Oh, oh, it's so good. Yeah, you really don't, you don't need to season it with salt because there's a lot of salt in the pasta water, actually. So as long as you salt your pasta water, and the Parmesan has salt in it too, is a salty, it's salty. Um, so yeah, you don't, you don't really need to add salt. A little extra cheese, a little pepper is all you need. It's really good, I'm sure it is. If you wanted to add garlic, that's definitely an option. Red pepper flake helps. The thing with garlic is I would add actually whole cloves. So just smash them a little bit, add them at the beginning and then take them out. So don't, if you mince the garlic, it'll probably burn in the oil and butter um, by the time you're done. So add a whole clove, crush it a little bit, and then add that, but take the clove out before you finish the dish and it'll be seasoned, it'll have a great garlic flavor and you won't worry about like burning garlic or anything like that. Also less chopping, so that's the easy way to do it. Red pepper flakes would be a great addition if you wanted to. Um, dried chili, if you wanted to get like a whole dried chili, toss that in there for a little bit of heat. Any of that is great, but honestly, this is the classic Italian way to make this pasta, and it's something that, you know, is basically a great great pep, uh, pantry dish because you can use almost any pasta with it, and you just make the quick sauce, and you're in business. So, um, that's pretty much all I have today. Uh, Red Pepper Flakes, Barbara. Oh, that's my mother. My mother is watching. How kind. <laughs> um, 
fine. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, so it's a great pasta dish. Um, thank you all for watching and I hope you're all home and you're safe and your families are safe. Um, we're gonna get through this. I truly believe that. And I will be back here once a week, either on Facebook or Instagram. If you wanna follow me, uh, I'm at Machismo, M-A-C-H-E-E-S-M-O. I can put that in the comments maybe. Uh, let's see if I can figure that out. There we go. So if you wanna follow me, that's uh, I put it in the comments there so you can check that out. And uh, I will be back once a week, either on Instagram or here on Facebook to cook something fast, talk about, you know, my kids were very good today. I'm surprised they didn't pop over. But, uh, you know, I'm sure one of these weeks they will. You get to see them. But anyway, so I hope you all are having a great uh, week and you're safe. Try to go for a walk if you can. Have a beer. That's what I'm going to do later for sure. And I'll see you all next time. Enjoy the pasta. Cheers.